Welcome to Crack Testing Interview. In this video, we are going to learn difference between array and array list in Java. Let us understand with a practical example. We can create an array by, first we'll start from that array. So we can create an array by, you know, something like this, int array of equal to new keyword, int, int of, we need to specify the size over here. Right. So this statement creates an array of the specified size. Right. So if you go with that array list. So array list, array list is a, a class of cl collections framework. So we can create an instance of an array list, something like this. Something array list. So you can define the type. So what type of value are going to add? So you can add over here. Right. So array list equal to new array list. So here also we need to specify the same type integer. So I can import this Java beauty. Right. So now we'll see the difference. So first difference would be, you know, while initializing array, it is mandatory to provide the size of an array. Here I have defined size of the array is five. Now, if I try to assign a value for the sixth element, right, more than its size. So what happened? Suppose if I try to add five, five will be the sixth element, right? It's the index start from zero. So now if I try to assign a value for the sixth index, then if I run this, right, it is throws the error array index out of bound exceptions, right? So the array uh, array is a static here in a size. Array is a static in size over here. If you go with the array list, array list is dynamic in size. We can create an instance of array list without specifying its size. We are not specifying any size over here, right? So Java creates array list of default size. So what is default size? Default size, if, if suppose if I want to print the size of uh, array list, I can print array list dot size. So what is the default size now? I'll command this line. If I run this, see this is a zero is a default size of array list. Right. So the second uh, difference would be an array can store both objects and primitive type. But if you go with that array list, right, we cannot store primitive type in array list. So it stores only objects. It automatically convert primitive type to object. If suppose if I try to add an integer primitive, you know, integer primitive to array list. So what happens? Suppose if I try to add array list dot add, right? If I try to add a value over here. So what happened if you are adding a primitive value over here? So the JVM converts it into object, integer object, right? This is called auto boxing as well. So the third difference will be array is very fast compared to array list. Array performs fast because of fixed size. Right, here uh, the resize operation in array list slow down the performance. Right, so the next difference will be array provides length variable. If you want to know the length of the array, suppose I can say array dot length. So what happened, it is going to return a length of the array. So array dot length, right? So I can print so what happened? It is going to print the length of the array. Suppose it is going to return five because this is the length of the array, right? So we are going to get the length of the array if you are using the length variable. 
right if you want to know length of the array list so we need to use the method called size right finally array can be multi dimensional but in array list array list is always single dimension so these are the major difference in array and array list in java right i hope this will help you thank you